What you cooking today? I am cooking my secret roast chicken. Welcome to my first cooking video on my new channel, Liz Can Cook. I'm really excited today um, to be doing this. And I'm gonna be doing it on my new GoPro as well. My mom is helping me film. If anyone has followed me on the internet on my main channel, Liz Life, you'll know that I started on my laptop filming and then I graduated to my iPhone 7 filming and now I've graduated to a GoPro filming. So this quality video should be good, I hope. <laughs> I'm excited. So we're gonna make my secret chicken and by secret, I will let you know why it's secret and I hope you like it. So we start with a five pound chicken thawed, giblets removed. I placed it on top of roughly chopped onions, roughly chopped celery, and just some baby carrots. All the recipe, the recipe will be linked in the description below and in the pinned comments. And then I'll also have a website coming soon and a blog post. And those links will be linked in the description below when they're ready. Okay, so, come on, come here. Mom's my videographer for my cooking channel. And lately it's just been everything. <laughs> I was about to say, not just cooking. I know. <laughs> All right, so what makes this chicken so secret, you ask, right? It is the rub that I put on it. And it is a half a cup of mayo and a half a cup of softened butter. I know, you've probably clicked off already. This is probably disgusting to you, right? You're probably like, what the heck is she thinking? But trust me, this will make your chicken so juicy and so delicious. I do it on my turkey every year for Thanksgiving and it has been a godsend. So I don't know where I came up with this, but this is chicken my way. Not anyone else's way, just me. So we're gonna start with a half a cup of mayo. How does it feel filming on the GoPro, Mom? It's very cute. Yeah? It's so tiny. Do you like it? Yeah. It seems much clearer. Yeah. I hope the quality is better and maybe editing would be easier because I don't have to convert it because for some reason I do with my phone. I'm just using some regular old gross ass mayo. Just kidding, it's not gross. I love, I love mayo. And it, it makes like a beautiful, I don't know what you would call this, like a rub or a paste or a massage oil, if you will, for the chicken. Massage oil, hmm. But I've been doing this on my turkey now for like probably like three years, two or three years, and it's just made a world of a difference. So I said, why not try it on chicken? All right, so you get yourself a medium sized bowl a half a cup of mayo and I'm gonna do a half a cup of butter, which is eight tablespoons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is a whole stick of butter. Yeah, fuck it, let's do a whole cup, half a cup. Let's see what happens. If you wanna do a, a half a stick, do a half a stick. Not all these recipes I'm gonna show you are tested. You are my test. So I'm gonna mix it up a little first and then we're gonna add all the seasonings and garlic, tons of garlic. Okay, so I'm adding a quarter teaspoon of all of these seasonings. I'll tell you what they are. Quarter teaspoon of salt. I thought it'd be cute to put it in this and then dump it all in. I don't know why. I don't know why either. You make more work for yourself. I think it looks cute. <laughs> quarter teaspoon of pepper. Quarter teaspoon of Bell's seasoning. I do a quarter teaspoon of oregano. 
if I had fresh herbs, I would add those as well, but I didn't get to run to the store and get them. So we're just using seasoning that I already have, which is fine too. Just as long as you season your chicken. You know what I mean, mom? Yep. Seasoning is good. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. The pepper got in my nose. And a quarter teaspoon of cumin. This is the most important seasoning of all. It's Goya, it's Sasson. If you don't know it, you need to know it. You should buy it. One day I will get a Goya sponsorship. <laughs> and that would be spectacular. You're only gonna add one packet of the Sesson. Thank God I did the cabinets over, huh? Yeah, Mom, because everyone would be looking at the cabinets being like, oh my God. They look so shiny now. But they looked shiny before, no? Mm -mm. All right, and then we're gonna add all the seasonings. Then we add about a tablespoon of finely chopped garlic. And then we mix, mix, mix. So mix a paste like that. And then I'm gonna move this over here and bring the chicken closer to me because we're gonna get to know the chicken a little bit better. And give this little guy a massage. So the first thing I do when I want to massage a chicken or a turkey is I try to open up the skin a little bit. Are you even filming me or just the chicken? Both. Okay, can you see me? Yeah. All right. Of course. Well, I don't know. I don't know what's what's going on in there. Trust me. I am the most important part of it. No, I'm just <laughs> I can see you. I can see the stove. Oh wow, you can see that all? I can see that painting over there. And that thing that was hanging over there, that's why I took it off, because it was bothering me. That's crazy. Yeah. So I'm just removing this like flap of skin because it's creeping me out. <laughs> and we don't need it. So what I mean is this. I'm gonna take some kitchen shears, or you can do, use a knife, but I think these are easier. And you just go underneath the skin and kind of like detach it from the boob or the leg um, because it is a connective tissue <laughs> on the chicken and we wanna get underneath it to really get some good seasoning on the actual meat and not just on top. Can you see it? Mm-hmm. So you mm. see that like little, that little skin right there? You just kind of want to cut it down. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. I hate when people make chicken and they're just seasoning the outside. It's like, that's not doing anything. You know? Mm -hmm. And they say that a good cook is only as good as their roasted chicken. So I thought, why not start with that for my first recipe? And I think a roasted chicken was the first thing I've ever cooked by myself. Hmm. I think I was living at Nana's house and she took out a whole chicken and I was like, let me do it. Watched a lot of, um, Food Network that gave me the confidence to manhandle a whole chicken at probably 14 years old. Okay, and you want to get underneath the skin of the legs if you can. Sometimes that's a little harder. Okay, and this is where it's gonna get really intimate. Really messy. And Yeah, really messy and if you want to use gloves, use gloves. I don't use gloves. This is not my first rodeo, so I don't really care. Whew. All right, grab a handful just like that. And you're just gonna stuff the underneath of the skin. Okay. 
I kind of just took all the things that I saw my mom and grandmother do in the kitchen and just kind of elevated it all. Kind of massage that down a little if you can. This might look like a lot of paste, but you want to get it all in there in the cavity as well, underneath, on top, and then you can use the rest for the veggies on the bottom. So when I used to cook chicken before, when I used to cook a whole chicken before, I would add a bunch of liquid and slow cook it that way. But this recipe is gonna be completely different. I'm not even gonna bother with that. I'm just gonna roast it in its own juices with all of this. So, which I think will come out really good. Okay, we're gonna go in the middle, which is my least favorite part. <laughs> that face <laughs> but it makes such a difference when you do it it's just it's the grossest thing I mean who really wants to stick their hand in a cavity of a, of a animal but here we are this is what we're doing welcome to Liz can cook <laughs> okay and then we're gonna get the all around just give him a massage tell him you love him or her. I love you, little chicken. Thank you for blessing us. Thank you for giving your life. Okay, well, <laughs> morbid. <laughs> I'm gonna flip him over. I'm gonna stand him up just like that, even, and just get the underneath as best as you can and the wings as best as you can because those can't you can't really get underneath the skin with that same with the underneath it's kind of difficult so but if you season it well enough it's fine the skin on the underneath of the chicken is like more connective or connected I don't know if connective is a word <laughs> it's more connected massaging our chicken I feel like he's well seasoned. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Not pretty, but he will be at the end. You can use the rest of it just to put on the veggies all around. Massage a little bit more in them if you want. This will not go to waste because, I mean, look at it. It's just filled with goodness. Now, I'm sure some of you are thinking, Liz, this is most unhealthiest chicken ever. But are you eating roasted chicken with mayonnaise and butter every day? No, exactly. That's not what I'm here to tell you to do. But I'm here to let you know that if you want to make a really good roasted chicken, add some mayonnaise and butter. Not all of my recipes will be this fat filled. I'll try to include some healthiness to my cooking as well and healthy recipes and vegetarian recipes. I want to get more into that. Um, but I wanted to show you my roasted chicken first. Now, after all that, you have to wash your hands. And turn on the water for you. Yeah. So on this channel, I want to start posting every Wednesday. I'll post a new video. Um, on my main channel, it's kind of, it's a different facet of my personality. So, on that channel, it's a little bit less professional and more quirky and fun and edgy. And I'm not really thinking about a uploading schedule, if you will. But this is more refined, more classy, less swearing, maybe even good for kids. I don't know. Actually, no, don't. Does it? <laughs> I don't want to be responsible for your kids. <laughs> But I wanted to make this more of a different facet of my personality. And I wanted to try to stick to an uploading schedule, which is hard, but I think I can do it. What do you think, Mom? I think you can. Thanks, Mom! I've already preheated my oven to 350. You're gonna lit it. If you don't have a pan with a lid, then you can use tin foil. And you're gonna stick it in the oven for about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes and then take the lid off and stick it underneath the broiler. But before we do all that, we're gonna check the temperature and I'll check in with you guys in about an hour, an hour, 15 minutes. You guys ready? 
Are you guys ready? Are you ready for the big reveal? Mom, are you yeah, ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Come. Doesn't that look good? Come to Mama. All right, let me put it up here on the stove. And let's talk about it. Because I'm pretty sure it's done. But we're going to use the thermometer and see. And then after that, if it is done, we're going to put the broiler on to get this nice and crispy. Okay, so for the thermometer, you want to put it in the thickest part. It should be up to 165. Yep, it looks like it is done. Yep, that's done. All right, <clears throat> so let's put our oven on broil. Let's pick that up first. Okay, I broiled the girl. I let her rest for about 10 to 15 minutes. And now mm. let us see what she's all about. Looks nice and crispy. Piece of breast, which is so juicy. Oh my gosh. And tender. Look at that. Oh, look at all that seasoning. So good. I'm gonna have a little piece of the skin too. Okay. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. That's where it's at. It's so tender and you can't really see how juicy it actually is, but it is juicy. It's so good. My first time trying this recipe and my first time filming it. So congratulations me. Dip that in the little butter mayo sauce you got going on at the bottom of the pan. Well, if you made it to the end, thank you for watching. I hope you click like and subscribe. New videos every Wednesday on this channel. New cooking techniques. And fun. And fun. Thank you for watching. Liz can't cook.